Hi, hello, welcome to the second activity demonstration part in that course of business planning. In this video, I will demonstrate you how I perform a technique called business modeling, uh, which I already described in the instructional video for this activity. And now you can see me practicing it like in real time and in real life. So, this is the same slide that you can remember or the same cover slide that you can remember from the instructional video for this activity. So, activity 2, business modeling demonstration. And I generally keep going with my idea of manufacturing small electric turbines, wind and hydro. That's the idea that I already hinted in the, uh, uh, in the practice number one, so in the practice of pitching uh, business concepts. Now I do some business modeling on this one. So I stick to it, I do some spying right now. Uh, so I do what I recommended you to do, I refer to Professor Google. First of all, I Google up small wind turbines investor relations. And my first hit is this IQRON company, IQRON.de, so located in Germany. In a moment, I will show you that uh, investor relations site of theirs. And as I Google up small hydro turbines investor relations, I come up with that much longer link, much longer hit, but the name of the company is Andritz.com. Okay, so now I will switch to Safari, to my, to my internet browser, to show you a little bit how you can rummage through, uh, through those sites of investor relations. So... Let me go to Safari. Okay, so you have that IQRON company. You have those links here. Start, start the innovation, the product, sales partner, news, investor relations. I focus on investor relations. And here are publications, you can see it. Publications, finance calendar, event calendar, news, contact. Hmm. Publications. Let's see what they have. There is no upcoming pub publications and you can see that there is an IPO. So IQRON applies to list its shares at the market segment access of Euronext Paris. Uh, it is a so-called alternative uh, stock market in the Paris Stock Exchange. This is a non-regulated market for young and small companies with extraordinary growth potential. The IPO will push Curo, IQRON to further grow by expanding its sales activities in target regions worldwide. What, uh, what have I learned here from that first sentence? I have learned already something important about my business model if I want to go into manufacturing those small wind turbines. Because here we have, essentially, if you look at it carefully, we have a German company, IQRON.de, so incorporated and located in Germany. And that company plans an IPO, so, so an initial public offering of shares in the market segment access of Euronext Paris. So in France, they are located in Germany but they look for investors in France. That's an important indicator that uh, wherever you are located with your operations, the place where you, look, where you look for investors might be another country. It is important to understand in this specific business concept that when I look for investors, I might have to travel a little bit. Okay. Let's go through other resources or through whatever I can find on this specific site. So, the product. Let's see what they make. Come on. 
Yes, it is loading. What? Yes, this is what they make. Uh, this is what they make. This is a, a drawing of what they make. And here are a few indicators which might be important for me in my research. There are like characteristics of that wind turbine listed or bullet pointed by that picture. So it is brushless, multipolar. To explain you, the multipolar or brushless uh, e electric engine is something that you can find, for example, in the most modern washing machines, for example, those by Samsung. It is a new technology of electric engine. Corrosion protection through anodic coating, cooling fins on aluminum housing, air circulation in rotor, low rotation speeds compared to blade diameters. Why is it important? Is it, it is important for my business concept because these characteristics are most likely to be important in the business. So if I launch my own manufacturing operations in small wind turbines, I probably need to address these things somehow. Maybe to invent something better or at least to stay in these lines to have like a minimum of technological competitiveness. That's an example of how can you use creatively those business models by others. Now the innovation. What do they claim to be their innovation? Through IQRON we are developing, let me just check if it is visible, okay. Through IQRON we are developing sustainable technologies on an international level to offer eco-friendly solutions for energy generation. The innovation force and continuous further development of our small wind turbines offer the perfect solution for any small consumer. Another hint, focus on small consumers, households, residential complexes. This is, by the way, the general idea with the small wind turbines. Okay, now I go to that other firm, to that other hit, pertinent to small hydro, just to give you a quick idea how you can work with those resources. So I go to Andritz. Uh, here, what I can essentially see is a PDF, is a cover page of a PDF report. Let's see what's inside. Compact Hydro, more than a small solution. Gen genial, okay, let's look, let's have a look, let's read through it. Just let me quickly check how you can see it on your screen. Cool, that's acceptable. Okay, let's go there. Promising global market of small and mini hydro power. Another hint, if I want to make small hydroelectric turbines, I need to keep in mind that there are like two weight categories. There is small and there is mini. Interesting to keep, to keep in mind. So here they show like the potential and the, the existing, the incumbent development. So they claim that uh, the total potential for developing hydropower in small size, so small hydropower, is 217 gigawatts in power, and there is just 36% of that developed so far. So there is a, like a larger remaining market. And this potential seems to be reached to maximum or, or maybe not to maximum. The potential seems to have been reached uh, to a largest extent in Europe. Huh? Here you can see in blue what has been already like exploited, what is already installed, and in grey you can see the part that is uh, supposedly to be used. So Europe is left like 52% of small hydro potential unexploited. In Americas, it seems to be 82% of potential unexploited. 
and in Africa it mean it seems to be 95% unexploited in Asia 58% in Oceania 63% my first observation from that quick overview is that uh, in this business in small hydro that like uh, unexploited uh, temporarily left for discovery market potential is important obviously it matters those guys seem to know what they say hmm? um, it might be and now at a, a general remark uh, when you do business modeling when someone tells you there is a small existing market and there is a large unexploited market, it is a good indication that there is a potential for growth. But then you need to ask yourself like a fact-checking question. Wait, how come that if that market is so attractive, there is such a large part left unexploited? Maybe that large part is just apparent maybe you just think it is a market to exploit there might be obstacles that make that market on the whole unattractive hmm? this is important let's return to that report let's see what else we can squeeze out of that piece of information now about the company from the historic pioneers of technology to a modern global market leader the Andrids Group is a globally leading supplier of plants, equipment and services for hydropower stations. Let me get a bit smaller in that window. Okay, a little bit more. Or maybe I, I move, excuse me, I, do, I didn't want to move the window. I wanted to move myself. Maybe I move here and then I will be both no, uh, noticed and seen and I can read. So the Andres Group is a globally leading supplier of plants, equipment and services for hydropower stations, the pulp and paper industry, the metal working and steel industries and solid liquid separation in the municipal and industrial sectors. Andres is always close to its customers and so on. I am interested in this part. This interests me vitally as for their business model. First of all, they name themselves as a group. There is that special type of business model when instead of developing like a one large unified big chunk of business, it pays more to develop a network of small local operations which you like bind together in the same capital group, in the same business structure. In that short passage, I have an indication that this is what happens in small hydro. In small hydro, it seems to pay off to make rather a network of small local operations, like across the globe, instead of focusing it all in one big factory. Interesting, another indicator about my business model. Now, they are a globally leading supplier of plants, equipment and services for hydropower stations, the pulp and paper industry, the metal working and steel industries, and solid liquid separation in the municipal and industrial sectors. What is common in all these? The turbine, the electric engine, visibly the core business, like the core technology in those small hydro, is an efficient electric turbine. Now, the way you connect it to a water flow is apparently secondary. The most important is that efficiency in uh, electric turbines themselves. Hmm? Okay, so this was a short example of what you can do in terms of business modeling. You can quickly use information available online, usually to be found uh, through typing into Google a phrase like name of the business concept plus the phrase investor relations. And there you can find companies which do either e exactly the same thing you plan to do or do something similar. 
and by studying them you can find the clues for your own business model that's business modeling so for the moment that would be all in that demo as usually have fun with your practice have fun with science and have fun with life bye